Welcome everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to find consumer surplus. Consumer surplus, it's simply the area under the curve of the demand function uh, subtracting the price level. So this, uh, for this particular problem, you're given the demand function, which is this right here, and you're given a cell, sales level. So this is kind of like your Q. So we want to uh, picture this so suppose that you have uh, your demand function graphed in here. So this is the quantity, which is the x-axis or the q-axis, and this is the price. So the demand function looks something like this. It's a parabola facing downward. So this is your d of q. And the 600, let's suppose this is 600. That's how many units. So we need to know what is the price for that unit. So this will be the price, and we'll call that the price line. So this is the price line, or you can call it as equilibrium level. So we're looking for the area between uh, the price line and under the curve of um, the demand function. So imagine we're going to integrate this function, uh, subtracting the uh, price line so that would be the consumer surplus so this this area right here this region this is what we call consumer surplus so in in words what we mean by that is that it's the difference between what you are willing to pay and what you actually have to pay so for instance if you have some units right here and consumers are supposed to pay this much, but you're actually paying this much. So you see the big difference. So we're looking at that, that we want to find what's the area of this, that will be the consumer surplus. And we're going to do that by using definite integral. So consumer surplus, it's going to be the integral from zero to that unit Q, uh, difference between the demand function and the equilibrium uh, level so let's call that p minus p and dq that's what the consumer surplus is when you integrate that formula you get this area that we have just shaded in right here so it's just that little portion so let's go ahead and try that for this particular example so our consumer surplus It's going to be the integral from zero to Q. In this case, Q is 600. So that would be D of Q minus uh, P, the price line, DQ. So we need to compute the price line. So the price line is going to be the this price right here when the uh, 600 units are sold. So we plug in 600 into our demand function. So that would be 600 into D, that is 790 minus 0 0.03 times 600 minus 0 0.004 times 600 squared. And then when you do that calculation, you'll get about 466. That's the price. So the price line here is 466. That's the equilibrium level. Now we're ready to integrate. So we're integrating the integral from zero to 600 of the demand function. So I simply take that function, 790 minus 0 0.3 Q minus 0 0.0004 Q squared. And I subtract away the price line, which is 466 DQ. That's the setup for consumer surplus. And now let's go ahead and carry out the integral. So first I wanna simplify this as much as I can. So it looks like I can combine these two numbers since they're uh, just numbers. We call them like terms. So we're integrating 0 to 600 of, so 790 minus 466, that's about 324 minus 0.3Q minus 0 0.000, one more zero, 4Q squared. And we're integrating this respect to Q. Now let's go ahead and integrate this. So the integral 324 respect to Q, that's 324Q. Then the integral of 0.03Q, that's gonna be negative 0.03Q squared over two. 
and minus 0 0.0004 cubed cubed over three. And we're gonna evaluate it from zero to 600. So that would be the definite integral. We use the power rule of integration to simplify, uh, to integrate this. So now go ahead and plug in the upper limit. So this is 324 times 600 minus 0 0.3 times um, Q squared. That's gonna be 600 squared over two minus 0 0.0004, 600 cubed over three. And then when you plug in the lower limit, so this one into all of these, you're gonna get zero because everything has Q in it. So we don't really have to write that, but you do need to uh, know that for yourself. So it's a minus zero. Now let's evaluate this. So this is going to be equal to uh, 324 times 600, that's about 194,400 minus, so the second number will give us about 54,000. And the last number will give you about 288,800, uh, 28,800. So just carefully enter them in your calculator and you'll get these numbers. And all of this will add up to 111,006,000. Uh, so 111 and then 6,000, point zero zero. So that will be the consumer surplus for this particular example. So what we have computed is this area of this region right here, which is bounded by the curve demand function and the price line, which is the equilibrium level.